Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're doing another satisfactory video and this one is going to be a deeper dive on my nitrogen recycling which I mentioned um, in my main bus video, my wall bus video. And I just want to say thanks again for all the support on that video. Um, it's for a small channel, it, it means a lot. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, and you can check out my, my wall bus tour. Um, I'll put a link to that so you guys can check that out too if you missed it. So this is nitrogen recycling and um, it is a early way to uh, get your nitrogen going. Um, it uses drones and it uses uh, uh, packaged um, recyclers so you need packaged nitrogen so you need uh, you need canisters for it. So let's take a look at the map and we'll show you what I've got going on here. So uh, this is where I am right now. This is where my uh, nitrogen needs to come into the base. But the nitrogen is way up here, up in these cliffs, up in this jungle, which is where we're going to head to first. Uh, we're going to take a look at that up there, how that's set up. And then uh, the drones bring it in here. And then other drones bring it over here to actually put it on the wall and put it in the main bus. So. Um, let's take a look at where it all starts. All right, so here we are. This is where it all begins. There's a nitrogen deposit up here, which you can see, and I've got them all tapped, so they're all filling up these pipes, going into these uh, fluid buffers. Then they're going into these packagers, which you can see we've got uh, empty fluid tanks going in, and then, you know, the is getting packaged and, and put into here so the interesting thing here is you know normally you would be like oh you should probably use a train to to move large amounts of um, gas or fluids and with fluids that's probably what you should do um, but with specifically nitrogen gas the compression ratio when it goes into the tank is a four to one so it's actually more efficient to package it then put it into, well, you could put it into a train car too. Um, but in this case, we're using drones because, you know, look at where the heck we are. We're way up here. So it's a lot easier to get a drone up here. And I, I think that's that's their intention because they kind of give you drones and nitrogen gas around the same point in the progression. So um, they kind of want you to experiment with the drones and um, and, and this and nitrogen gas at the same time. So it packages it up. It puts it into the uh, the the drone port, and then the drone comes in and it picks it up and it it pulls it away. Now I don't have this completely super efficient or anything like that. As you can see, at this point we've only got um, 168 uh, nitrogen coming in. So you could uh, add what you would want to do is add more empty canisters to this. Um, crate here that I have so this the the canister empty canisters go from here into here split out into the packagers then they go into here and then the drone um, that brings the nitrogen to my main base then comes in with and we'll see it in a second here it comes in with empty canisters so um, you know maybe we'll see them come in here I'm not 100% sure they might they might come super fast but this should bring some empty canisters uh, back from the main base and um, as soon as it the drones do their uh, do their real slow docking maneuver which is a little misleading there they are so that's the empty canisters 
or flasks as they call them, go into here, then they go into here, and then the drone picked up the existing uh, full canisters that were already in there. And that's how that works. Um, so basically what you have to do is make a bunch of uh, flasks and um, put them in here uh, in order to get the whole process started. And you can do as many as you need. If you need 200 flasks um, per trip, if you need uh, 300 flasks per trip, however many you need or however many you want to um, put in here, you can uh, seed those into here, then they get fed into the drone port um, once they get filled up and then they get picked up and they go to your main location. So now let's head to the main location, which was back here where we started over here in uh, Wallbus land. All right, so here we are back at Wallbus land and what we've got here are our drone, um, I don't know, import, export, exchange area here. And um, I'll just start here, this is where like the heart of the the operation is so obviously drones need fuel and this is where fuel comes in um, and you can see I've got tons of fuel that's coming from uh, way over in my oil production that's just packaged fuel that's nothing nothing too special not very efficient I mean you can use whatever fuel you want that's what I'm using right now um, then the fuel goes underneath here and then comes into the fuel ports on the drone ports here. Um, and then we've got two drone ports. We've got nitrogen gas in that's coming from um, where we just were way out in the jungle. That's um, the full canisters of nitrogen gas are coming in here and then they are going out of here and into this one, which is uh, nitrogen gas out to bus. Uh, let's get there. Those full canisters are getting loaded into here, and then they're going out there, uh, where they get unpackaged and brought onto the main bus, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Um, once that's done, that is also picking up empty flasks and bringing them back to here which are then coming and, and going around here into this um, drone port, which you can see the empty flasks. And uh, they're getting then loaded onto here while this one is unloading uh, fuel full flasks. Um, so we'll see that coming in in a minute. There they go. Um, and then once that's done, it's bringing those empty flasks all the way back out there and that's how the cycle continues. Um, then they get filled up, they come back, um, they get transported into here, then we then it goes back out there and back and forth and it, it works really well. Um, like I said before, you can do as many as you can. Like the, the drones, you know, they have a pretty good um, inventory. It's not a ton, but it's pretty good. And then, you know, you could always um, overflow if you wanted to. Um, well, actually, you probably don't want to overflow because then you may end up with a drone that has flasks in it, empty flasks that it doesn't need or something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, you want to do probably as much as like a full, a full drone port can handle. Um, that would be the most that you want. But then you can expand it. Like you could do another drone port here where you're bringing in nitrogen gas if you want more. Uh, it's it's pretty expandable. So let's head over to uh, where this gets added onto the main bus. Alright, so here we are. are. Alright, so here we are uh, where this nitrogen gets added onto our main bus and here we have the drone coming in uh, this he, it's dropping off um, it's gonna drop off a full set of, of it's gonna drop off a set of full canisters 
flasks and then it's going to pick up these empty flasks. Keep calling them. Actually, it says fluid tank. I think I think they get some naming things going on here that um, <laughs> are really throwing me off. I just I'm usually just call them canisters. Um, package nitrogen gas. Uh, empty fluid tank. I think at one point they called them flasks somewhere along the way. Um, anyway, so you can see it's uh, picking up the empty ones, dropping off the full ones, and then they're getting processed here and um, getting ready to continue their journey. So the, the packaged nitrogen gas comes out of here, gets split between these uh, packagers, which are actually unpackaging the gas. And you can see we're kind of getting backed up here. We're, we're producing more than we need, which is, you know, it's, that should be okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that'll be okay. That might end up being a problem if it starts to get really backed up. But I don't think I have enough canisters in the rotation to actually fill up an entire, like, like to clog up the, the works here. Um, and we are still using some of the gas. I can see it's still being used. So these are configured to unpackage the, ga the gas into, you know, an actual gas form. And then the empty canister is then put back into the drone port to get picked up when, when the drone comes back. And we've got a fluid buffer here uh, just to, for, for fun, I guess. You don't really need it necessarily, but we got it here. And then it comes around here, goes through the wall, and then boom, comes out onto the uh, the main bus. And the blue pipe is water. And uh, you can see I'm using it to make my uh, I think that what are these fused modular frames in the in the blender. That's really all I'm using it for right now. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the way I recycle the canisters uh, recycle nitrogen you know it, this picks them up this is where it actually finally comes the final conclusion the where it picks them up new nitrogen comes in old flasks go out goes back over to the uh, depot there gets picked up by that other drone then flown all the way out to the um, you know, the, the empty canisters get picked up by the drone here, flies out to the source, full canisters come back, come back to the depot, get transferred into this drone that's just leaving, it comes here, and the whole process starts over again, and it's been working really, really well. Once I set this up, I haven't needed to touch um, touch it at all. It just, it just works consistently. Um, you know, it is a waste of fuel, you know, you know, you are using fuel, but, you know, once you get enough fuel going, you don't really need to worry too much about, um, about it all, but, um, I hope I explained that well. I'm kind of, you know, just starting out with these kind of, um, explainer videos, so if you guys got any questions, got any comments, uh, got any ways that I could maybe improve this, um, let me know, and, yeah, if you like the video, please consider subscribing, and, we will see you next time.